This BC team, though, good at home, Roy. Something the Q's got to deal with. Orange have lost two straight for the first time this season. Our opening tip controlled by the road team. Ivy, one of the best in the country in assist to turnover ratio. Todd and Sidbury trying to anchoring that front court against the taller Syracuse front line. And a good start inside. 12 steals per contest coming in. My good players anticipating the ball. Well, you see the double coming over, but the great adjustment inside that time. Wilson. Shot clock under 10 for Wooley. And Rice left open. Connects, that's a long two. Four to two, our score. Brooke, I can't tell you the last time I saw two coaches converse for that length of time. Less than an hour before tip. Good take by Sitberry. She's got all four BC points. And apparently Coach Mack plays <laughs> a lot of pickleball. And Coach Jack wants to start playing more pickleball. Here's the steal. And Elena Rice in transition thinking about it. And the mid-range is silky smooth for 25 and white. Game two, get to the free throw line. But you see the defense working well for Syracuse. And, up, and there's Rice. And able to finish. Nearly four minutes in, tied at six. Fully inside, off glass. It's fair, just a little dish down pass because you gotta come up and help. They're not trying to force the shot there. You see, BC's giving her that strong side, but leading it to a double team. So she makes a good dump off pass. That's getting bodied in the paint. Bring it, that's tough from Wagoner. Wagner steps up. And on the other side, great dish down pass. Good job with the handles too, that's not easy. That ball screen for Fair. Step back off of one leg. Right? Just pa 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 pa. You just gotta watch their feet go. Be in uh, Chapel Hill in a few weeks to see Duke come to town. Duke women and North Carolina women go at it. She didn't take that shot or this shot here. Instead, passing up two opportunities in one possession. Well, he gets it back. And now Rice from the baseline. Well, she hasn't missed any of those so far today. Now in February, I'm trying to figure out what happened in the month of January. <laughs> it went by so fast. I think you're the only person on this planet who said that. January going by fast? News to me. <laughs> News to these players, too, because you're hitting the dog days right now. Fair hitting them with the Hezzy. An example of that right now. Open floor. Back it up. Boom, and then explode as soon as you catch the defense slipping, and she did. 34% to start here on the road in Chestnut Hill. It remains on tight on this end, ripped away by Rice. Got to find fair. And Elena Rice, the runner. How about it? Right at the buzzer. <laughs> Just kidding. Rice says, I got this one. You know, those are the kind of players that, that you'll always remember. Not, not for their stats, it's for the way that they made you feel. And she was, she was the embodiment of that. And our, our best goes out to her and her family in her memory. First possession of our second quarter, JoJo Lacey with the turnaround. Now coast to coast off the steal in Boston College. Makes it a one possession game and a clear path. Yep, JoJo Lacey, great anticipation again. Just gets out there and able to convert those two points. A different sort of struggles for Syracuse working this is trapping defense instituted by Coach Mack and Boston College. Here's Lacey again, the dump off, and a left-handed finish by Sidberry. Taking advantage of the moment off the tough pass. I mean, good heads-up play again. Lacey, she's got her eyes everywhere, and that's part of giving those. Here's the steal with Todd, three on one. And the block by Woolley out of bounds. Ripped away by Wagoner. 3 on 0, and that's as easy as it gets for Boston College, and the Eagles are back in front. A defense to offense is what's fueling Boston College right now. Against the zone, the shot clock already down to six after the bucket by Ja'Kayla Thompson. Backup point guard. Fair's got to launch one, and she connects first points of the quarter for the Orange. That was something that uh, lasted Coach Jack still to this very day, among many other things. I mean, that's, that was Coach Yao's superpower was. Sidbury nice just gave BC the advantage. 
Injected inside. The Twin Towers got there. Syracuse team that ends every game up seven. Rick Weisbro, the legendary Coastal Carolina Hall of Famer. <laughs> Roy Philpott here with you. And this a dish. good look off the glass. Sorry for the finish, but Wagner had been all over the place. Double. And switching to that trapping pressure really made a difference. Bear open for a minute, makes him pay, and that's a long two. She have doubters coming into the ACC. She said, yeah, there were many more non-believers than those that thought that she would come in and do what she's done. Lacey from downtown. And the first three of the game for Boston College, a lid lifter. One thing to plays like this, JoJo Lacey knocks down the triple. After they went 0 for 11 in the loss at Clemson on Thursday night, Bear responds again. I, I like the way that Bear is well, being more commanding of the basketball here in the second quarter. Lacey off the mark, Bear with possession, in control. Steps into a three, and it's all net. Boy, and she gives you the mm -hmm. head nod on the way back. She's <laughs> starting to feel it, and she's got 13 in the blink of an eye. An efficient start, 6 of 11 from mm -hmm. the floor. and really never. Was that a doubter I heard in the building? I think it was. It wasn't me. It was Brooke. Oh, it wasn't me. No, I don't know about that now. Could be some of these fans behind us. They are sitting kind of close. Tied at 27. Yeah. Sid Barry connects. It's the only point scored by the Orange so far in our second period. And the baseline, Jay is there for tie. That's a great decision in transition. Both of these teams have made four of the last five shots apiece. They'll swing it around to Woolley for three, make it five of six. Your server at the restaurant talking about it. You got a guy in National Car Bus Rental. You know, he's talking about it. And the young women who are going to play the game because of Caitlin Clark, that's the real win right there. Sanai Wilson gives Syracuse the advantage. I mean, there are some shots that Clark has been taking recently that, I mean, if you look at the court here at Conti Forum, making that deep run, having a chance to win a national championship, and Plum just entered the same kind of zone that we've seen. Clark obviously has been even at a different yeah. level. Step back is there, and Tiana Todd. Rice will feed it inside to Latham, who kept it high. Too strong on the 10 footer. Good look ahead. Wagoner. Here's Sid Berry. Look ahead. Ivy. Look ahead. Everybody's heads are up. I love it. Great. You feel confident about themselves, especially by the time they leave here and, and reach 25, become that real adult. But I've done my job. Nice pass. Again. Wagoner inside. Out well off the rebound. Sid Berry again leading the break. Finding Ivy. Two in total control of the basketball today. Ivy. Leads the ACC in assist to turnover ratio. Perhaps this is the start of the fair takeover in our second half, or first points of the third quarter. DQs now with that 1 2 1 1 press, trying to trap in the corners. And BC is a team that will turn the ball over if you speed them up too much. Sidbury inside, contact, no whistle by Wood. Literally one end of the floor to the other, but Sidbury sprints down the floor, makes herself available. That's part of it too, right? You got to step into it. It's been a long time or a while, I feel, since we've had a game where combined there's only been 15 three-point attempts by this point in the game. And credit both teams working hard to get better shots. Sidbury is on one today. Taya stepped up in a big way, 18 points. Three-pointer buried by Sophie Burroughs. See what they can do to force the Eagles to make mistakes. 14 turnovers for Boston College. And a lot of basketball left to be played. Bear oh. from downtown, and we are tied. Right? I mean, watch face. No expression. Right back to her. Oh, you gonna give me that room? Let me show you what time it is. Almost. Had nine threes in the win against Florida State. Oh. And the air and a chance for three the hard way. You had all the, the confidence in the world with her ball, the ball in her hands that she's gonna take that shot, and then gets an and one out of it. The response by Lacey. The Eagles have had an answer for every sense of, or every time they felt Syracuse start to run. Lacey's been one of the ones to take over. Came into this game averaging just six points. And just a great simple move right to the basket, not trying to do too. 
for Lacey. Now DeAsia Fair with the bounce. There was enough backspin to bring that one back down at home. It was the softest shot I've seen. She said she'll play maybe four hours. I believe it. Monday, that's yeah. getting after Yeah. Pickleball, you take a lot of steps, burn a lot of calories. You're working. Lacey's working. Lacey Throws is it up working. And in. On the floor for Boston College. Starting off on the left side, finishing right. The fadeaway shot. Todd outside to Lacey. Defense by the Orange. Burrows inside to Latham. And the lead at four. Transition opportunity for Syracuse. Again, off good defense. He's a good passing. And an easy shot inside. That's a tough one again for Lacey. Let's go, JoJo. JoJo Lacey with 16. Lead back to two. Fair sizes up a three, and guess what? She drained it, 59-54. The Asia Fair with 28. Doesn't distract or perhaps motivates her, so uh, it, you, know, you may want to think twice if you want to get into a chat game with the Asia Fair. It's Sid Berry. Back iron for Woolley. Burrows again, her second offensive board on this possession. Fair makes him pay. 31 on the board for DeAsia Fair. Burroughs gets this one, able to kick it out and find Fair. You can't leave her. You play solid defense, but two offensive rebounds from Syracuse lead to a three. Good hustle from Lacey again. JoJo Lacey with a season high 18. Here's the matchup. The step back three. Fair oh. with 34. <laughs> right in the face. Knew it, she said. Go ahead, scoot on down. I got something for you. Hezzy, that's a LeBron James sidestep three right there. That's what we're looking at. Strong for Woolley. Tracked down by Sid Berry. Ahead is Lacey. She's got 20. Check it, 21. Lacey, the great dump off to Sid Berry. Those two have worked so well together today, haven't they? See 21 points today. Good adjustment there at the last minute, dishing it off. At least he's also got four rebounds, couple of us. 75-63, our final score. As Syracuse improves to 8-3 in the league, 18-4 overall. And the two-game skid is over.